the prospect of running ads, you know, um, comes with a lot of apprehension, a lot of uh, expectations, and, and maybe a lot of miss as well. So, to, yeah. to to start off, what are some expectations that producers should have or should not have walking into their first ads campaign? Uh, it's not instant. It's not, um, well, it's incident. You'll see movement and growth. So you're going to be like, oh, okay. Like something's moving. Even if you do ads completely wrong and target just like everybody in the world and just have nothing down and your content sucks, like you're still going to get movement just because it's being put in front of so many people. But um, nothing's instant in the fact of collecting data of, building a nice customer base if you have none. Obviously, if you have something to work with, like past traffic, past pixel traffic, thousands of emails, then we're talking we're talking a little different. But my, my thought process is most people are just starting from scratch or starting with a smaller base. And um, honestly, I feel like that's um, it's funner to do. I feel like it's kind of like wide open um, and you kind of can tr- test a lot of things out. Not saying you can't test out when you have that already, but it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's funner to me. So I enjoy it, but I would just say, don't, don't have this thought process of you're going to do this and next week you're going to sell hundred beats or even 20 beats or merch or whatever it is that you're doing. Just keep in mind that this is something that is not a quick fix. It's not a one-time thing you should do. Uh, in my opinion, every single person in here, um, including myself, which I do, I just, don't do it for Mike Trampy. I do it for my sports card brand and some other stuff I do just for fun hobbies. I'm always advertising, whether it's a dollar or two a day and I budget myself at $100 a month and that's where I want to stay at. That's what I work with. So I think it's something you should continuously be doing. You should always be racking up data. You should always be sending people to your pro page, hopefully. If not somewhere else, you can collect that data and remarket to. Um, so yeah, just, just, just keep all that in mind. So you touched on two things I want to follow up on, but yep. number one, what are some expectations about budget that you think would be healthy for a producer? I've seen a lot of like sayings lately. It's weird too. Not about advertising, but just like people posting memes. Like if you can't buy three of them, don't buy it. You know what I mean? Like type of thing. Like if you don't have the money to buy, say three pairs of these Jordan sneakers, you shouldn't buy one. Um, I guess you could kind of take that in the, in the consideration of like, if you aren't going to eat for a day or two because of this, unless you're like intermittent fasting or something, um, you know, I probably wouldn't be spending money on it. I- I'm taking into consideration and thinking that most people will at least have um, even like $50 a month minimum to spend um, upwards. But I just, if you do have a larger budget though, that doesn't necessarily mean go into this, like, Oh, I'm going to no, no holds bar. I'll spend more money. That means I'll get quicker results. That's not necessarily true either. So I, I would have some type of small starting budget, whether you have a budget or don't. Um, obviously if you do have a little bit bigger one, you can scale up a tad and try some different things out, but I wouldn't just dump a whole lot of money into this because if you don't see those results instantly, when you spend a lot of money, you're going to get frustrated. and You're most likely going to give up. That's, that's, that's common. I see this all the time. I did it when I first started learning how to do ads and just even other marketing tactics. You don't see the results you want right away. So patience, man, just like selling beats, patience, patience, patience. You got a consistency and patience.